Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. In today's journey, we are finally <laughs> in the parish of Portland. A parish that was not always as large as it is today. When the parish of Portland was formed in 1723, it did not include the Buff Bay area. Buff Bay was then a part of the parish known as St. George, Long Bay and Manchonil. They were also not a part of the parish of Portland. For many years, there were disagreements between St. Thomas and Portland about where those two areas belonged. But in 1779, Manchonil was given to the Portland Vestry. And later in 1867, when the then governor of Jamaica, Sir John Peter Grant, when he cut down the number of parishes in Jamaica from 22 to 14, Buff Bay and Long Bay, they were added to the parish of Portland. I hope you learned something today. <laughs> continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, yesterday, I told you about a guy who drowned in the river at Big Bridge in the parish of Westmoreland. Before I started recording this video, I received information that his body was found. In a subsequent video, I'm going to be giving you more details. Stand by for that. But that man on your screen, his name is Mr. Everard Faster, but he's popularly known as Kiapo. Kiapo, for many years, he used to work at the Texaco gas station in Savannah Lamar in the parish of Westmoreland. Kiapo has been missing since early yesterday morning. He was brought to the Savannah Lamar Hospital after he complained of feeling ill. Early yesterday morning, he got up and walked out of the hospital. Now, I posted Kiapo's photos on our Facebook page that he was missing and scammers capitalized on it. Kiapo's family, they were scammed of 100,000 Jamaican dollars. You're not going to want to miss the details about what really took place. At the end of the stories, I'm going to be playing a chat I had with one of Kiapo's sons. Stand by for that. But this next incident, it took place yesterday morning. Tuesday, November 21, about some minutes to 11 o'clock. It took place at Seaview District in the Hopewell area of Hanover. We are learning that a guy, he's about 30 years old and he's living at Lookout District in that parish. It is said that that guy and a guy named Nick, they had an argument. We are learning that Nick, he left but he later returned with about four other guys in a car. One of the guys in the car is known as Insanity. It is alleged that Insanity, he pulled a gun and Open gunfire at the guy, hitting him to his right thigh. All five guys, they then made good their escape in the said motor car. The guy that was shot, he was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was treated. The police, they were informed and when they processed this crime scene, one 9mm pen shell was recovered from the scene. In this next incident, this one took place at Blenheim District in the parish of Hanover. It took place yesterday afternoon, Tuesday, November 21, about 3.30. We are learning that a couple in their early to mid-30s. Now, the guy, he's called Romaine and the female, she's known as Letitia. They operate a shop in the Blenheim area. Yesterday afternoon, they were both at the shop. Romain, he was sitting on a bucket at the front of the shop. And Letitia, she was inside the shop. 
a man in his mid-sixties. He's known as Mr. Pierce. He was standing beside Romaine at the front of the shop. We are told that a white motor car drove up and stopped. Two hoodlums jumped out of the car with guns in hands. One of them then opened gunfire at Romaine and the other one, he entered the shop and opened gunfire at Letitia. Romaine, even though he was shot, he managed to get up off the bucket and ran off. The hoodlum chased him, still firing shots at him. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape in the said white motor car. It was then realized that Romaine, he received gunshot wounds to his abdomen. And Mr. Pierce, who was standing beside him, he received gunshot wounds to his left foot. Luckily, Letitia, she was not hurt. Romaine and Mr. Pierce, they were rushed by residents to a nearby hospital where they were treated. The police, they were informed and listen to this. When the police processed this crime scene, 22 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. Now, in this next story, yesterday I told you about the killing of that guy on your screen. His name is Devante Palmer, but he was popularly known as Messi or UFO. I told you that Messi and two of his friends, they were shot at the community park at 7 West in the Greater Portmore area on Monday afternoon, November 20, about 1.30. Three hoodlums drove up in a white Toyota Pro Box and opened gunfire at the three guys. Messi, he died shortly after. I told you that a 21-year-old guy known as Toots, he was battling for life in hospital. Toots, his correct name is Malik Charlton. He was born on August 24, 2002, 21 years old. And he lived at 7 West in the Greater Portmore area. I told you that Toots, he had received gunshot wounds to his abdomen. Well, Toots, he also succumbed to his injuries. He actually died late Monday night whilst he was being treated in hospital. The mayhem. In this next story, I am doing some digging on this one and definitely will be coming back with more information in a subsequent video. But as you should well be aware, for two weeks now, there has been a state of emergency. And if you didn't know, if you did not know, I personally support these types of enhanced security measures. Truth be told, listen to me, truth be told, since the state of emergency was declared in the parish of St. James, there has been no shooting incident except for a hoodlum named Christopher Lynn who was killed by the cops in an alleged confrontation and a gun seized. There has been absolutely no murder. Hoodlums are on the run. In fact, one such hoodlum who went on the run is a guy named Odeen Barrett. But he was popularly known as Jungle. Jungle, he lived at Bird Hill in the Megatap area of St. James. Jungle, he was said to be a top shatter for the Young Star family gang based at Salt Spring in the parish of St. James. He was implicated in the double murder of those two persons on your screen. That's Odeon Smith and his girlfriend, Imani Jarrett, who were shot and killed whilst traveling in a taxi in the vicinity of the Salt Spring Primary and Infant School on Thursday afternoon, October 26. Jungle, like other cronies, they left St. James to other parishes. He went to hide out at a relative's home in an area named Mason Hall in the parish of St. Mary where he thought he was safe and where he thought he could stay until the state of emergency in St. James was lifted. Then he could return to continue with the mayhem. But early this morning, about 4 o'clock, a team of police officers, they went and paid Jungle a visit. It is alleged that Jungle, he brandished a gun and in a few seconds, 
it was all over. Another hoodlum bites the dust. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, that man on your screen, his name is Mr. Egbert Parkins, but he's popularly known as Grongad. Mr. Parkins, he's a retired assistant commissioner of police, having spent most of his time as a police officer in the Area 1 Police Division. He was once in charge of Westmoreland. Grongad, he had a brother named Everick Washington Parkins. Everick, he was born on December 30, 1969. He was a pig farmer and he lived in the New Hope area of Little London in the parish of Westmoreland. Anyone who knew Everick, they will tell you that Everick him is a man who is always in argument with any and everybody. Based on his attitude, he had a lot of enemies. We are told that Everick, he was slated to return to court on the 12th of next month. A guy was charged for opening gunfire at him. Early yesterday morning, Tuesday, November 21, Everick, he drove his grey access motorcycle to a place named Brownbush in the same Little London area. Everick, he had a pig pen at Brownbush where he raised pigs. About some minutes to 7 o'clock, residents, they heard gunshots being fired in the pig pen area. When the smoke was cleared, they went and made checks. Everick, he was seen lying on his back on the ground inside the pig pen in a pool of blood. The police, they were notified and when they inspected Everick's body, he had gunshot wounds to his head. He appeared to have died on the spot. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, Five 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. So now, as promised, I'm going to be having a conversation with one of Capo's sons. This conversation I had with him earlier today. It's sad to say, but Capo, Mr. Everard Foster, he was found dead uptown Savannah Lamar about minutes to 4 o'clock this afternoon. We are told by the cops that no foul play is suspected. Condolences to Capo's family and friends. This conversation was before Capo was found. Listen to how scammers took advantage of this young man. Listen to this. Uh, go on, I'm here. Yeah, man, afternoon again. Um, well, I'm here, I'm here, but I'm But I'm um, here, more, more, because... I, no people are texting about your father, you know, because enough people know your father very good. What, 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 your father, Kepo, right? Yeah. Um, where you used to work? I used to work at Gap Station. Yeah, yeah, man, you used to work at Texaco for years, when Mr. Hutchins is out there, right? Yeah. So, um, what happened to him in a, in a later, because what, what, he got sick or what? Yeah, he got sick. How long now him, how long he got sick? Well, you get all the commands too. You get all strokes, and then after that, you need to start. Uh, but one good, oh, five years now. Oh, yeah. 25 years. Okay. So, oh, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Mm. Don't worry. Mm. Don't worry. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Just about one five years now. Yeah, about five years. So, um, what, what happened to him recently that he got to the hospital? Uh, you know, they like, he never did at least, and then they are like when they touch him, he like him a feel pain or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we bring him, we bring him over to hospital. Mm -hmm. Bring him over to hospital for uh, for eight. Ready time. That was so that we, was we, when which which, which day? On uh, Monday night. 
Yes. Yes. Bring him over to hospital and emergency door. Porter take him out. When I know normally you don't go away, um, a nurse me. Yes. A nurse take him pressure. Put all the stuff on my arm. And then after that, she give me a paper and say, I'm going to wait for the doctor. The doctor come screen him. Mm-hmm. After the screen him, I'm going to do that. When he's screening, he say, all right, go on the ready stand. When I'm ready stand now, you know that scam back out of the front. Go wait. Till he name call. Mm-hmm. It is till half a twelve, still trying to know name a car, which me I come from work and I got training. So you know basically me I got tired because I'm over there. Mm-hmm. It is sitting beside him, or oh, two chairs for him. He sit in a wheelchair. And he happened that I got do it. Mm-hmm. And then I drop a sleep and he get up and walk out. Mm-hmm. He killed the other main gate and see him he see him walk gone to the main road. And that in a year, I see back. See so what? Uh, none of the security them not try to stop him when he come out or nothing? No, none of them not try to stop him. And they realize, so you, the, the security them realize yeah, you want him to come to the hospital? Well, he want them on me and give him all the setup. Okay. Yeah, but he want like when he go in a, in a panic compound, in a, like when he don't go to customer service there, so. Yes. Yeah, that the security them basically to say me and him be there. And and he would have walked past that the security when he come back out. And he would have walked past that the security. Yeah. So he missing. So that was when. Um. After uh, one. Yes. Yesterday morning. Yesterday, yesterday morning. After one. So after and that, me I drive up and down. Me drive about two hours and I turn to and fro. Mhm. I look. I can't find him. Yes. But so, now, but they, as you can see, me can me text about. After one or about two in my mind, somebody has to take the early. Yes. And then for the information here. Yeah, man, because you text me the early and when I get up and see, I text you and ask you certain questions and you send it to me and then me, me post it on Facebook. I see, after you post it, I about, about 45 minutes or half an hour after, somebody contact me, um, claiming to the Corporal Robinson from the Miguel Police Station. How the, per- how the person contact you? My phone called me for my number. The person use a, a, a black number or them, the, 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 you could have said? Call me, call me from my telephone number. The number is 333. Uh, let me tell you the number. Uh-huh. 333. 333. Hold on there. 333-9411. Um, and the person call and tell us that they're they, they who? Carpenter Robinson. Person, person, the person himself in green. So then call and tell us the name Carpenter Robinson from the Negril Police Station. Yeah. And and then what the person said to you? But what that was yesterday morning the person called you? Oh, yesterday in the evening I tell you after you post it. After me post it, alright, the person called you after me post it and then the person tell you that? Yeah, tell me say they find my father and he like what they say, the reason why he's in their station because he mashed up on 2019 all the windshield, right? Yes. So they must say, the lady, the lady, she's an attorney to at law, which attorney to at law, her name is Blair. That's how they say. Okay. Remember, my father missed me now, and we just well want him back. So yes. He gets so glad and I work with whatever she said, whatever. Because you, right. because you text me after that, and t- right after that, and tell me, say, them find him, and you find him, and you when they contact me, I text her and say, alright, they find him and he goes, so. She has to say, alright, 100,000 dollar bail bond. And she has to say, alright, court office now, now have accept no cash or whatever, which me never deal nobody before. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, a, a one person talk to you? Two persons. Male and female or only male? Two female. So, so is a f- the person who call you is a female? Yeah, then she um she she, 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 the, so, claims, so she claims that she named Carpal Robinson or is a female Carpal, vice. Carpal, two female vice. Even the person that um the CRV commercial that uh the attorney at law. Attorney, attorney yeah. to at law, yeah. He uh-huh. contact me for a private number because as me I say, you know, normally you do something man, people be commercial, they know every everybody that wire your number. So me I say, alright, if the person want contact with and we can talk to her pertaining to it so she not have to press charge for her father or whatever. 
Yes. Yes. So, boom, she call and she call me from private number and she say, all right, she has a press charge and she no want to hear nothing. Even we have said to her, say, all right, if I vehicle your job to work, we can even rent a vehicle for you and we order back the windshield for you. Yes. She has said, no, she has a press charge already and he done talk to the officer, which is Carpenter Robinson. She don't know her, she don't make her decision and uh, that she has to do. Yes. So you know, so right, she would have out that picture now. So basically, you now we are trying to deal with the father so he can come out and have his baby. Oh, so the person who call you claims that they have a press charge and that they have left it in the police, hand. Yes. So, so Carter has been uh, told that so she not coming back to work on Friday. Yes. She's going to be the father um, yesterday. She's yeah. not going to go get no bail until Friday again, unless she's there. Yes. Yes. So you know we get the cash now and she and she has to hire to talk to somebody at the court office and then we we, we um deposit the money to the account and just keep the receipts to prove and can come to the station and go to the police station. Yes. Say, it's like in our parking lot we can call her and make sure no so outside. Yes. We call the number the outside she has to Alright, she's inside a protest. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Backtrack a little bit. You get the, the hundred thousand. How much money did you say? Hundred, you say? Hundred thousand. And what you do? What you do with the hundred thousand? Because it's an uh, um, uh, over J M inside, and not even me do it. It's a security do it because. So hold on, hold on. The person would have given you um, a J M account. Yes. One name, the one name in a the. Eh? Which may have the two receipts. What name the person give you? The name of the pony receipt, um. Uh, Rodney K. Blair, the pony. Alright, when did you, te you, you text, the, text it? Come give me. Uh, WhatsApp it to me. So, oh, you you I deposit. Yeah, 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 man, pan, this is this one I want me to call you, pan. Uh -huh. Alright. So, the, the, you, the, you, you deposit the money over JN. Deposit after security, after security that works here to deposit the money because we, we couldn't go inside because they already closed. No, they already closed so the security, security yeah. deposit fee and, and give you the receipt. Yes, 100,000 100, cash, 100,000, two, two receipts, one with 95 and one with five. Okay, so after that, now you contact the person and tell them to so deposit the money. Deposit the money, which is a send a receipt to a, a next WhatsApp number, which never tell her the other WhatsApp. Ah, hold on, hold on, now, hold on. How the security deposit the money? Now the drop box? No, there's a machine like e service. Okay. Cardless e service. Cardless. Oh, the cardless, so it goes straight. Okay. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh huh. So, after you, you deposit the money, what you do? Take the receipt, take your photo or to receive them and mm. send it to this number. Yes. To a different number f away from where they call you from, Frank. A different number away from where they come from. They would answer basically the number when we are going to send it to now and somebody at the post office where I just to prove yeah. to the deposit, if you understand. Yeah, but yeah, I understand what you say. So after you do that and you WhatsApp, the, WhatsApp to, to, the, to the person, what the, what the person said? Uh, hold on, I'm telling you, the way person replied and said, Oh, then send a message. Uh -huh. Person replied and said, Noted. Yes. The man is, is being processing for Mr. Everett Foster, sum of 100,000. Mm hmm. And that's it. And then, and then what you do after? Jaguar Negro. Mm hmm. Are, are you going at the parking lot, like Carpal Robinson said, and, and then what? And wait. So you call you call the person when you go on nigga? Call, call the person and tell them to outside. Even this person is so professional to be honest with him, Mr. Papa. Mm -hmm. He gets on the phone and she has talk and she has say, Alright then Mr. Foster, outside, so give me a few minutes mm -hmm. and uh, me get me get back to you. Which at one point the virgin leave and go pick up somebody and come back. While she called my virgin and say, Alright, the person outside what color shirt he in or whatever and he tell him say white and he say alright the process still a go on so she just be patient and give him a little time because she really no want my father to sleep because he realized the condition we in her. Jesus. and he wouldn't want him to stay overnight mm -hmm. 
be there till we are weak out of patient. See one next officer and the compound and they ask him say, we can take me traveling to India because two we did it how long? At one point we left and go by two. Mm-hmm. When the pump up, I said to my friend, I said, only Miss Robbins to Ghana, come out of the one to see and gone. That's the exact thing I said to them. Mm-hmm. I said, oh, first I go and go check them now, see if she still did it. Yes. Let me find out that there is no Miss Robbins. So. Mm-hmm. So we have to do it. No, so, so that's why I'm there to reach out to your father. But let me tell you, what I mean is that when we get up this morning, when we, in the day I may check and I see the message them, but you say my 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 Facebook have one automated thing. If you say good morning, it, it just go respond to you good morning. So you know good afternoon. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, good afternoon. Say I may respond. Uh, yeah. that because when me take so I when I when me here say I make the report and somebody call me, me I say <laughs> I when me start check the message and I realize say why. I you not hear nothing about your father since that? I know, I walk, we have to walk through Gully Bank and, and run at the mall road and say if we book him up and something. So, the police, they must can track down the account number and something. What, what then say them how deal with that? Yeah, give them the account number, they must have to keep your receipt just in case of anything. So, we do, because like, to we pay for them, like, it's a fear though, so mm. we take a picture of them. You yep. know, we can always have a picture on my phone, so if they want, if you copy me, can just print your uh, carry to them. Did you go back at, did, did, you, you know, go back at Jane and tell them what happened? Some better they have thought about that. Okay, because they must, I feel them account number, you know, man. If you want more account, you, you need so much things, you know, so they must can okay. track down that there and they have all kind of something, 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 if you can track down the person. They must can do that. Why, why really, I'm really, really sorry for what happened. I don't know, most of the time when, when people ask me if I post missing person, I always no post the number. But actually, ask me if I post the number, I say, I post it. Yeah, but even me, me look funny and me I say, why me, why me give you my number which me should have just said, yes, yeah, I post. Yeah. Police station or yeah, because I normally post them, you know, so, because, because they, they, they can't contact me with them foolishness. Because right away, if them tell me that, I don't know how stupidness that. You know, but I know this, but, but boy, I want to wait for, for, learn, for, for lose that way. Then. And your father still out there, you know, where the next move, you know, you know. You really I hope that somebody, somebody. It's a missing person, you go to the extreme, extreme end to get back your father, and they still in a process now, have your heart, she said. Hold on, come back, I can't. Yeah. All right, um, talk to you, man, you, I must say, if anything. But boy, I'm really, I'm really sorry about what happened. Yes, sir. But yeah. talk to your brother. Anything, anything else at all, you can't you can link me up. I know where I'm going. All right? All right. No problem. Yeah, man. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend for tell a friend for tell a friend about Papa in News Link. Papa in News Link. And PNL Blog TV. PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. How we care. Quick Silver Sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Shop.
Jamaica. Criminals, the 